Hello everybody and welcome back to some Rev Folio. We are jumping in again. This time we're going to play as Sarah. We've been doing really bad recently. We've been just dying tons. I am still a bit ill, so I apologise if you can hear that in my voice. But we're going to play as Sarah here and try and get ourselves maybe a mother win. I'm thinking about it. I think mother could be quite fun. Hopefully we get some good items off the bat here. These guys are the ones that do the triple shot, aren't they? Yeah. Always tricky. And these ghosts are a pain in the ass as well. <laughs> okay. Item room or item room? What may you be? So many of these do triple shot ghosts. I hate them. They're so hard to manage. Well, you're going to fire one of them up at me, are you? Right. Take you out at a distance. The triple shot becomes a lot easier then. Oh, bugger. I'm trapped inside with this bouncy shot. Okay. Oh, really? A beater came out of that? Come on now. <laughs> Where's this last enemy? There he is. Okay. Things ain't going so bad so far. Hopefully we can keep this Eternal Heart alive. That'll be really nice because this character, we can't really have Black Hearts. I mean, we can, but they don't really get to stay around for very long. Ooh, um, this is a really annoying, um, a really annoying trinket to have, but I'm going to take it just because getting any stats early, especially luck, could be very, very useful for us. Could be very, very useful. <clears throat> As for the question of the day today, what's something near you that you think, or something that you know close to you that doesn't get enough recognition? What's something that you think should get a lot more recognition by people? Either like in your area or just in general, maybe something online, I don't know, anything really that you think just doesn't really get the recognition it deserves. Okay, yeah, that's, those things are going to be annoying. Right, oh, the D100, okay. Not really what I was expecting to get here, but that could provide us with some interesting stuff. Obviously, right now, it doesn't really do anything for us, um, but later down the line, we can, um, we can re-roll a lot and try and get a better run. Try and re-roll each item to get something a little better, I hope. We'll see. We will see. Hopefully, we can keep our eternal heart here. Not a particularly hard boss, so not too bad. But not, I'm not going to say an easy boss either. Okay, stay out the way of his charges. He is just going to keep charging over and over again, isn't he? Dude, stop charging so I can hit you properly. Damn it! <laughs> this guy just charges constantly. Okay, we, we got him. Now he's onto the monstro shots, which... These are pretty sporadic. They, they can be really easy to dodge or really hard, and you never really know, because it's very hard to see the height of the tiers. But you get used to them over time, so I think we should be okay to not get hit. But I'm not going to guarantee it. Okay, we didn't get hit. Good. I will reroll that. Bottle of water, gulps. Um, gulps, hell trinket, spawns a pill. Well, I guess we're um, sticking with the fortune thing then, aren't we? And we also got a golden pill there. Wow. Uh, I'm going to go down to the next floor before I use this pill anymore. Just because um, I'd really be annoyed if I got a, a one that hurts me and lose my eternal heart. So, i got to relax here. Also, my character is looking amazing right now. Hematemesis again. Shot speed up. Are you a wizard? I can see forever. Okay. Not terrible. We also got the straw man here. Okay. Straw Man's kind of an interesting one. He can be kind of good. I can't remember. If you re-roll the Straw Man, the item, does it keep the Straw Man himself around? I, I genuinely can't remember. <laughs> Take these pills. Why not? Amnesia. Speed down. Lovely. <clears throat> Right. I'll try and keep him alive, but there's no guarantee. Try and let him pick up money whenever we see it so we can heal him up. And I think we'll be okay. Got a golden bomb behind there. That's nice. Okay, I'm not quite sure what's going on with these enemies. I've not really seen that fly before. Oh, God. 
The little willow things are surrounding me again. Right, we'll definitely be blowing this up. Lovely. Apologize for my coughing. I'm, I'm, I have to pause every now and again just to cough. It's very frustrating, but being ill, it is what it is. Now, the question is, do I want to re-roll any of this stuff? Oh, hello, Beelzebub. Spin down shard. That's kind of interesting. Good. Oh, there's a lot more of you coming. I see. And you seem to be bound to this little area over here. That's fine by me. Oh, no. No, you're not. You just all decide to spawn there at once. Strange. Right. That's actually pretty good stuff. Uh, right. Keep it going. The triple shot early is really strong, actually. It's really nice to have. It's not something I would have expected to have, so it's like a little extra for us. Don't walk in that creep. If we can help it. We also got an immoral heart there, which turned into a, a black heart, which is pretty good for us. Oh, what the hell? That's pretty cool. Oh, I like that a lot. That's a really cool attack. Oh, bugger. Luckily, my, my thingy guy, straw man, got hit, not me. He might die. There's a good chance he dies. Right, um... Quickly just thinking, try and maybe find a crawl space if we can. But also, try and get to our shop wherever that is. Try and get some extra, um... Money to heal this guy up. No hearts from any of that. Okay, there's that item room. Good. I reckon we will end up losing Straw Man probably on this floor. Okay, we got hit, which is pretty bad, actually, because there is going to be a lot and a lot of Black Heart ghosties coming around here. Oh, God. The, um, the Willows are surrounding my Black Heart ghost. Not good. <laughs> Um, fiend mix. Unused transform half your health into the fiend minions. Nah. We'll take whatever this ends up being. Or, or we could spin it down into nah. I'll just take whatever this is. Damn it. Didn't want that. Okay. We can spin that down into this, the Decent enough. Right, where's our shop at? Here it is. Damn it, we really need some pennies here. There you go. Okay, we got him back to full health. That makes me feel a lot better about the fight. <clears throat> right. We can also re-roll all of this if we want to at any point. I'm not sure if we do want to, but we can. With golden bombs plus uh, straw man as well, we can double up on our bombs here. And really start wrecking up the bosses. Especially bosses like this. Easy. These bloody bouncy fuckers. Stay away from me. Got mum's underwear there. Not so good. Um, Apparently we have goat head now? Where did that come from? <laughs> like, look at our uh, item tracker. Where the hell did goat head come from? Very confused. I mean, I'll take it. I'm not going to complain. Don't know where it came from is all. I have my black hearts. Holy mantle. Oh, yes. Book of Virtues. Not good right now, but good for later. Um, yeah, I don't think I'll be using my um, my active. <laughs> I have to say I'm pretty, pretty happy with how things have uh, come along for us here. Pretty happy indeed. Oh, hello. Bucket boys. With all this water, having fire around ain't so good for these guys. <clears throat> Only problem is we do have this thing, um, we do have this thing locked in, so we're always going to be getting these stupid fortunes. A bomb there. We always want to leave pennies on the floor if we find them as well, if we can. <clears throat> Right, just for this, just run. <laughs> just run across and hope for the best. It kind of worked out there. 
<clears throat> okay. And we got ourselves Poops Explode, and no thank you. But yeah, I'd like another active just so I don't accidentally press this one at any point. You know what's going to happen, don't you? Most of the time we get hit, it's not going to hit us on our Holy Mantle character. It's going to hit us on the uh, the straw man. To be fair, either's pretty good, to be honest. Okay, these guys are an absolute fucker, so don't let them jump on you. Take him out nice and easy. This guy's jumping around like crazy as well. So we do have some keys here, but not uh, keys, pennies here, but they're not ones that we can actually reach. So don't even worry about them, really. <clears throat> really cool attack pattern for this guy, that is. I really like that a lot. Got so many bombs right now. That's pretty good for the bosses. Like I said, we get to fire doubles. So we we have lost one penny heart now as uh, as our fella here. Got to be aware of that. Let's just fight the boss now, because it's going to be a pretty easy boss fight. Just double bomb it. There you go. Right. Yes. And I think we have enough black hearts now for one item. Ah, no, we need three. Okay, okay, that's fine. That's fine. Right. <clears throat> we do need to do our mirror realm bullshit. Unfortunately, it's looking like the mirror realm is very far away from the white fire, which is annoying. I like these enemies as well. They're pretty cool. <clears throat> so many bombs. Here we get the uh, Devil's Ab Ab Abacus. I'm not going to take that though. Bozo is okay. Okay, we're good. Sadly, not really great from the item room there. Bozo's fine, but it's not going to be a, a run winner by any means. Not going to do much of anything good for us, really. Is that it? Nope, there is more. That is it. So many bombs. Wow, what is going on with the bombs? Okay, let's go get our flight back. I think Strawman won't get flight, so that's going to be kind of a bit weird. Do you know what? I ought to check out the shop because I've just got so many bombs and stuff that I could make maybe make something work. See, look, we can buy an additional black heart and actually get a devil deal. Depends if the angel deal's still open. It might well be. Let's go check that first. Because that could be a pretty lucrative route for us if we get an extra angel deal out of this. We can get some money from here as well from the white fire. It is still open. Good. Okay. Huzzah. And you gave me the hitbox one, which is really nice. That's really good. Okay, right. Um, walk into that. Yeah, so we get a flight, he doesn't. But yeah, our hitbox is tiny now, and I think near misses grant us damage increases, which is pretty nice. Should be pretty good overall. Secret room here, maybe? Yeah. Oh, wait. I didn't realize it was a pick one situation. I thought I got all of them. I would have picked the luck if I'd have known. Golden bombs again. Wow, we are getting golden bombs a lot recently. Right. Here we go. So yeah, he, he still doesn't get flight. So there's a pretty good chance he dies. Just because he's going to get separated from us pretty easily. And not too bad. We've not got that far to go to get to our item room actually here. That's not too bad at all. And considering one of the rooms is the starting room too, that makes it even easier. But yeah, we fire these extra herming shots as well when we've got this, this butterfly item. I don't know exactly what they are, but like these, little, these little card things that seem to be herming shots. Good. We got it. Nice. 
Right. We might as well grab that. Let's get the hell out of here. I mean, we might... We, we probably can do the boss. It's a little risky. But I'd say the boss is fairly plausible here for us. Just because we've got um, thingy bombs. And I think if we utilize golden bombs to skip through the secret room here... We can skip some of the bigger, more annoying rooms. These enemies are probably the, the biggest ones that are problematic for me. They're not hugely problematic, but they can do a lot of damage to you. Same with these guys. Really just a very cool attack pattern. Right. That was close. Bucket heads aren't that bad. Especially when this one's got fear on it. I don't know where you got fear from, but I'll accept it. Okay, easy. And we get uh, the Philosopher's Stone, which is decent enough. Gives us some golden hearts and stuff. Yeah, I still don't know. We, we, we seem to be getting goat heads intermittently when we're in the boss room. It must be something to do with the character, but... Weird way of doing it. I don't know. Kind of strange, but I'll accept it. I don't mind. Right, come on, my straw boy. It's time to head back to the real world. And get ourselves gone. Get ourselves very gone. Da -dun, da -da -da -dun. I like it when you can skip through rooms like that using the secret room. Right. Then we can go through here and not even use any bombs because we still have golden bombs. Beautiful. Um, and we want to go... Down here? To the mines? This is the mines, right? Yes, okay. Okay, things are going reasonably well here. We've got Holy Mantle. We've got the, the little butterfly item, which I think is really good. We did just lose a, a penny heart there. Not the worst thing in the world, though. If, he, if, if Straw Man dies, it's going to be sad, but, like, it's not going to be the end of the world. He's doing a good job, but I think now we've reached the, the power level where we're doing most of the good work sort of thing. I did try to... Ah, oh, bugger. I tried to save that so that I could um, utilize the, the little fart cloud thing then, but it didn't really work out. This might be the room that we lose our straw boy. I was feeling like it could happen right there and then. So, okay, there we got that going. Lovely. No pennies in there. We could destroy the fires, I guess, but... Eh. Yeah, the herming on these, like, extra shots you get from this butterfly item are really, really good. Very strong herming. Um, I think... Wait a minute. If I do this... Yeah, I thought that would work. Okay. We're back to full with you. Very nice to see. You guys can bugger off as well. And then item-wise, we've got pointy rib. I think... Not pointy rib, sorry. Slipped rib. I think we honestly take slipped rib. Slipped rib plus... Um, plus the smaller hitbox and everything. And holy man on top of that. I think it's going to be very, very hard to actually hit us. Because the slipped rib is so much of our hitbox now. It's so much larger than our actual hitbox. I think it's going to be huge. And the only thing we'd need now to make it even more ha uh, difficult for us to get hit is spectral and flight. That would really, like, tip it over the edge. Good, good. Eh. Not that interested in that. Yeah, it's a lot of fun, this run. I like it. It's definitely a, a solid mother run, I think. We could use a little bit more damage. 
But so far, we're doing decently. The fires and stuff are good. Gift card here is really good. Rerolls item pedestals into um, gift boxes. Mysterious gift, whatever you want to call it. Ooh, I walked right into that. I don't know, why is that five cent? <laughs> I'm not quite sure about that. Gift card it. Really? It gift carded it into a seven cent item? I thought it was going to stay at five cent. Bugger. <laughs> okay, we do, have, we do have other money we can go and get though. We also need to find the secret room to make that valuable. Right. Okay. Let's go back and get that and then go find secret room. Also means I can put down the D100 and not worry about accidentally pressing my space bar now. And I can just use the Book of Virtues as is. So it's all around very useful for us, this. Right. Um, secret room. Check here. There you go. Simple enough. Ooh, that's a lot of uh, thingies. Um, capture enemies with spaghetti ropes and hold them in place. Pulling out the spaghetti also removes parts of their code and they occasionally lose their AI. That seems rather interesting. <laughs> right, let's open this bad boy up. Ooh, very, very good items here. Ghost baby, not so much, but the other one I like. Right. <laughs> That's pretty cool. I like that. Also produces a unique wisp by the look of it as well. Yeah, Mysterious Liquid is a fantastic item. An item that I feel often gets like... It's just, I don't think it gets underrated, but it often gets forgotten about as how of like being a really good item. It's very, very good. Okay, we got all of those. We got stem cells. Health is looking really nice right now. I don't think we have enough black hearts to make a payment. We do not, unfortunately, we need four black hearts now. Right. This is not mausoleum floor. Let's carry on going down. Curse of the Blind. Oh heck. Ooh, look at all these guys falling down. Oh, one of them's just a rock, though. Ah, shit! Fell right on me. I've been brutalized. <laughs> what a weird item. Okay, straw man has died. It is a shame to see him go. But honestly, he was visually quite distracting, so... Hey, we got Clutch Curse. I kind of like Clutch Curse. Ooh, also a bunch more Black Arts. Let's do the boss straight away to try and get that Angel deal. Okay. Yeah, visually we should have a lot more, uh, a lot more ability to see what the hell's going on, which is nice. Ah, bugger, bugger. Clutch's curse went into me at the very like, worst time then. Okay. This is a bit stressy, but we're getting there. A little bit stressy. Things are dying pretty fast. Last wave. Ooh, what the hell are these enemies for the last wave? Oh, hello. Can they do some things I was ill-prepared for? There's our angel deal. There's our item if we can actually get around to get it. Screw. Beautiful. And we should have enough black hearts to get a payment now. We get ourselves whatever this is. It's a ring around us. Seems cool. 
don't know what it does. By the way, some people were saying about using um, the encyclopedia mod to see what some of these items do in situations like this. I'm actually really enjoying not having the encyclopedia on. It seems to have given me flight. Um, for one, sometimes this happens where I get an item and I don't get to see what it does, which is kind of interesting to allow me to discover it. But also, the encyclopedia just adds a lot of lag, or at least it did for me last time, so I prefer having it off. And I've gotten used to not having it now, so it doesn't bother me. I apologize for those of you that rather would see what they do. But I think it's kind of interesting sometimes to just figure it out. You become spaghetti. Grabs onto one of them and breaks them. Take this one. Hey, Wicked Soul. Amazing. Ow, clutch, you fucker. Ooh, these enemies look cool. They're a bit scary, but they're cool. We don't need to get our knife piece because we uh, we have a mod that makes it skip the knife piece chase, which some people consider cheating. I don't care. <laughs> right, um, take whatever this is. Cyst and whatever this is. Humbling bundle, lovely. And then we got a crawl space as well. Very good shop. I'll just take the golden heart and get out of here. Come on, clutch me, old buddy, old pal. Let's go. God damn it, Clutch. Every time. Thank God I have uh, Holy Mantle here. Should be hitting me tons if I didn't. Death. No lovers for you. Get back. Ow. Item pencils will start cycling between multiple items from the same pool. Very nice. Lottery ticket. That could be really good for uh, our next... Angel deal item, maybe? We will see. We will see. Oh, one of you buggers. And here's that thingy room. We don't need to complete this room, so don't worry. Right. Off we go. I don't know what health we're on right now, but I'm pretty sure it's pretty good. We do have to give up some of it. Oh, no, we don't. Wait, what? That was confusing. Um, also, that is very cool. Don't know how much health I actually lost there. That was confusing. Okay, not too much. Don't worry about it. Whoa. Why did we all of a sudden just get 30 damage? Is that just for... Is that because of clutch? I think that's because of clutch. Also, our shot speed is nutty right now. This guy is strong. Holy hell. Don't know how I managed to dodge all that then, but... I did. A morbid heart there? I love morbid hearts. Thank you. Sometimes we just get an insta-kill when we walk into rooms. Oh god, these are the Sawblade guys. Sawblade guys aren't actually that bad. You just gotta realise that, that, that they are what they are before you kill them, because otherwise... The Sawblade's all over the room and you are not prepared for it. This is a room where there's gonna be absolutely Sawblades everywhere. Also, so many fortunes coming at us right now. Got them. Oh, hello. Big guy dropped on me. Hey, I like this. Being able to freeze the enemies real quick. And get on with the rest of the room. What exactly is going on with this room? I do have to kill these. Okay, I just have to kill the little nail that we're chained to. Damn it, Anak is cookbook. I don't really care about that. I'll be honest. Ooh, these guys have a really cool attack pattern. 
Did you die? My god, your, your, your friend died so quick. You had to, like, dilly-dally. Um, do we want to stick around on this floor? I think not. These guys shouldn't be too bad. Damage-wise, we could definitely do better. We're definitely not great on damage. And we're taking a while to kill this boss for how, for how late we are into the game, really. But, he is dead. And we get this. Snake oil, which is fake damage up, isn't it? I should go and look for my shop, really. I could potentially get some really good stuff out of the shop. Oh, we got a mammoth dude here. I didn't know they could spawn naturally. Um, when a room is cleared without taking damage, there's a small chance to be reward you're ordered to be doubled. I like that a lot. Give us an item. Mad onion. Don't know what mad onion does, but I'll take it. More shot speed. Holy. That's a lot of shot speed. We do have the reverse floor here if we want to use that, but I'm fine, thank you for now. Yeah, a lot of the rooms we're going to clear without taking damage, so I think the ability to get double drops could be super useful. So these guys use the teleporters actively. So much shot speed, it's kind of insane. these guys out. Where the hell's our shop at? My god, that took a while to find. What are you? And we don't have any money left anymore. I found, I spent so long finding the shop, I forgot I didn't have money to use the shop. It's okay. We get sharp plug here, which is not good. Plus 1% chance, increased chance for black hearts. Holy, how powerful is that? Damn, no good rerolls. No good rerolls at all, really. Justice. Okay, we got some okay stuff out of that. This guy gives us a capsule if we blow him up as well. A damage one, too. Awesome. I was just saying how much we needed damage. Right, let's go with our lottery ticket. Let's get out of here. Where are we going? Where I'm so lost. I'm so damn lost. God damn it. Right. I think we found our way. But yeah, it seems we've got an item that's really good for on-hit effects, this ring around us. But we don't actually get to use them because we're very rarely actually being hit. <laughs> we do seem to have a brimstone wisp now from somewhere. Black heart. Guppy's collar. Rather nice. Little fellas are buggering me off. I hate not having mapping once again. There's our doubled rewards, lovely. Some herming shots coming in. You guys get frozen, lovely. Oh, his AI is all broken. Glowing hourglass or random? I think we go random here. Glowing hourglass did get a pretty interesting rework though. Now, now you can use it three times a floor maximum, but you don't need to charge it anymore. It's kind of a good idea. I'm going to take the Ice Cube, it's much better. Ice Cube is very strong. Right, now we just got to find out where the hell we're going. Oh god, the mask is off after me. Oh, the nail kind of comes to life there, that's weird. Wasn't expecting to see that. No, I want my lottery ticket. Stay away. Still don't really know when I'm going to use that. Oh, hello, Sloth. Clutch just did a big number on you. Hazard. And then we got skip card. Eh, we don't really need the skip card right now. Like I said, lottery ticket is very good, and we haven't really found a use for it yet, but when we do, it's going to be very, very good. Hopefully get some 
extra items out of it or just some really good items. Probably not some extra items. That's not really what it does. But you know what I mean. God damn. I definitely feel quite ill right now. <laughs> I apologize if it's uh, affecting the, the quality of commentary. But I'm on the grind. I've got to gotta get these vids done. I actually quite enjoy doing them when I'm ill as well. Even if it makes the commentary slightly worse, I do apologize. It kind of relaxes me and chills me out a little bit. My way to sort of de-stress. Well, this guy can reform. I, I just realized. Ow. Okay. Up this way, I think, now? Yeah, this, this is the way. Oh, hello there. You're spawning some fellas. The ladder. I think we'll just take the ladder, even though we don't need it. Oh, this guy's a rainbow uh, champion. Um, I'm trying to plant bombs and it's not planting them. They're just exploding on me. That's new. I don't know what item's doing that. I'm not quite sure what item's causing that effect, but not great for us. We're getting so many random um, random wisps. I don't know where they're all coming from. Have we been seeing that item room this floor? I don't remember. I'm going to quickly go and do a little extra carefree check. Nah, I, I don't know. I'm not sure. I hate not having mapping. I can't remember. I'm pretty sure we have, but I don't know for sure. I managed to get one of the eyes stuck there, look. Oh god, Brimstone. I probably will get hit in this fight here. Still, my damage isn't great, though. Like, it's decent, but it could be a lot better. Yeah, there you go. We finally got hit. Crazy shenanigans went down there. We got ourselves a black heart. Take this. Right. Yeah, I feel like I need, like, an extra, like, 10 damage right now. Like, this is a really, really slow Mum's Heart fight here. Lost all of our wisps there as well. Okay, there, there that thing goes. I can't use bombs properly. Oh, God, I got my Black Hearts chasing me now as well. I forgot about that. It's been so long since I've had to deal with this that I kind of forgot it was part of the character. Like, what's going on with these bombs? They don't even deal damage. It's confusing. Very confusing. Also, please let me see my health next floor, otherwise I'm going to be annoyed. It's pretty bad. I know my health's pretty bad right now. Oh, great. I told you I was going to be annoyed, you fucker. Why do you do that to me? Oh, wait. I can't, I can't pick up the red heart, so I can't be that low on health. More hearts there. Yep, can't pick those up. Okay, I don't know. Clutch is still doing his thing and annoying the hell out of me. Oh, God. Yeah, I think the mother fight itself is probably going to be a fairly long one. I don't think it's going to be an easy one to get through. Oh, this is the one we have to fight the room itself. Not too bad, actually. Not too bad. Oops, there's a spider left, though. Don't know if I'm going the right way at all here. Oh, god damn, I love some of these enemies. This one especially. Look at his little face. Little ter tiny teratomas. I think this is the right way. It feels like it. I should be using this whenever it's ready, really, just to create um, wisps. Because it seems that it's just creating random wisps rather than a set one. Which is pretty nice. Right, good, good. Yeah, it's just creating completely random wisps each time, so... Pretty useful. Yeah, it's th the bomb thing's bizarre. What item's making that happen? I don't like it. 
I can't plant bombs correctly. It just explodes on my body. And it also actually, like, hurts my holy mantle. Even though it doesn't hurt me, which is really strange. Lots more keys for some reason. You guys are a pain. Stop hurling in on the enemy that I can't hit yet. Please. Recognize that he is not able to be hit. Okay, we found the boss. Good. These guys are annoying as all hell, as always. At boss time. I'll definitely take the strength card in with me. Actually, eh, just in case I need my angel deal, I'll take the watch the card. Oh, hello. You got a massive hit on you there. Wow. You shouldn't be too bad. The fires seem to be doing a good job of de deleting most of your shots, to be honest, so... I cannot be mad about that at all. We might even go down before the end of this stage. Oh, no, not quite, not quite. But, close. We got him. That's pretty good. Right, do we have enough black hearts to pay into you? I don't think we do. Really? We, th we need five? That's annoying. Need one more black heart, and we're not going to get another angel deal here. I guess I could look around on the floor to try and get one. I just think it's unlikely I'll end up getting one. But I suppose if I only need one, this is the last chance to utilize it. And really, the last chance to utilize my lottery ticket. Kind of worth it, right? I could also just as easily lose one, but let's pretend that isn't a possibility right now. All these bloody farting things. I do have a little bit of an idea of what I'm going to do. Or something I'm going to do to try and get some more black hearts, but it might not work. It's very random chance sort of thing. There's one. Huzzah. Wait, what? Can I not pick it up? Um, Apparently I have too many red hearts to even pick it up, so... Fuck me, I guess. <laughs> I found one. But I can't even use utilize it, so there you go. <laughs> the angel deal wasn't even there anyways, so. Sad is as sad is. Whoa, hey, look at you. Look at you there, big fella, spawning all sorts of stuff. Right, let's hopefully just beeline it straight to the boss. Let's not go the wrong way multiple times. I'm not doing wrong way rooms. A waste of my time. Bacano, that could have been a little bit better for us, really, couldn't it? We've got one of the teal guys mixed in there, protecting everyone. It's okay, though. Everything's turning to ice now. Right. Hopefully this is the right way. It's not. Bugger. Not a hard room, though. This way is the right way. Yeah, I think it is. Okay. We're good. We're good. Oh, shit. There's another frozen guy just here. Look. I didn't even see you. I don't want a speed down pill. I don't want that. beelining it through these rooms with this bomb item that I've got. The room seems even remotely difficult. I'm just like, nope. Bye. Oh, hello. Oh my god. What the hell? Wait, there's more enemies in this room? Oh, you just didn't die. I see. Okay, this one's not too bad. And yeah, I think the mother fight itself is going to be kind of tricky. I don't think the mother fight is going to be super easy. Because I think it's going to take a while because of our low damage. And also, if we get end up, end up getting hit on our black hearts, that's going to make things significantly harder for us. These guys are really tricky, to be honest. Like, just jump up more often. Come on. Do you not want to die? Doesn't seem like it. 
The clutch shots are going to be huge. They, they give us a, a big bonus in damage. Okay, here we go. We found the boss. We got there in the end. Right. Let's see how this ends up, ends up going, shall we? I wonder if it can break the AI of the boss. Now, that would be nice. Also, not being able to see very well because of the uh, fortunes is going to hinder my abilities, I think. So true, bestie. Actually, to be honest, the damage we're doing right now is pretty amazing. I think it's the fires that are doing it, though. I think the fires sitting underneath him are doing quite a lot of damage to him. Touch the grass child, go outside. Lovely. Remember the slip ribbon stuff are going to help out a ton with staying safe. This attack isn't that bad when he's not firing it directly at you. It's only really a bad attack when he, like, throws it directly on top of you. Then it gets really annoying. Oh, I always forget that this is an attack that he can do. It's so rare. I say he. It's, a, it's literally called Mother. But you know what I mean. God damn, this is a lot of enemies. Holy. Thank you. That was taking the piss a little bit, wasn't it? We do get this stacking damage effect if we, like, have near misses. I think it's near misses. I don't actually know what it is that gives you the stacking damage, but it definitely is the fires that are, that are leading to all this damage. Oh, we finally lost our holy, man holy mantle. I was really hoping to lose that a lot later, because having four of these demons chasing us during the, the boss fight is going to be hell. I don't think the fires are going to quite come in as clutch as they did last time here. What's with all the purple on the floor as well? God, yeah, this is taking a long time. We can't even use the bomb trick either, because we can't actually place bombs. Just definitely makes things harder. God damn. This guy's a tricky fella, especially if he keeps doing that. Yep, I gotta say, if he keeps doing this attack, we're, we're in for a long fight, because it's very hard to deal good damage to him without bombs on that phase. This one's not too bad. Sometimes it's really easy. I think if we stand in front of the fires here and we create like a little blockade, it's not that bad at all. Oh, really? You're gonna do this again while I'm this close to you? Okay. <laughs> Also, we're down to 24 FPS, which isn't great. Oh, bugger. I moved at the worst time, then. Okay. Damage-wise, the fires are just, like, absolutely eating away at him. you got to remember this is, that like... One third the speed the fight should be at because of our frame rate. I keep moving at the absolute worst time when he starts this attack. Very annoying. I just want to sit underneath you, but you keep doing attacks that don't let me do that. Stop getting close to me. Fuck off. Keep your distance. Social distancing, bitch. Okay, I think we got a... There you go. A very, very fun run indeed. We got some really cool stuff on that run. And yeah, had a lot of fun with that one. I hope you guys did enjoy. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one.